good morning vlog. It's about 10 a.m. and we're going to the beach because I haven't gone to the beach in a couple of weeks. I have a banana and I also have this soy lamp plant protein. So let's go to the beach. I have some water in this Disney cup and we packed the essentials for the beach. I have sunscreen in here. I have a towel in here. I have my sketchbook in here for writing, for journaling. And I also brought some tarot cards as well. I like to let them cleanse at the beach and I've been obsessed with this deck lately. This is the one I've been using a lot. It's the Albano Weight. But let's go to the beach. I'm in the mood to go to the beach and it's early. So hopefully we'll get a good parking spot, manifesting a good parking spot on the street, on the highway, on the PCH. Let's do it. Let's go to the beach. And we made it to the beach. I did find a place to park across the street from the beach. So works for me. It's a beautiful day. It's like 95 degrees out here today, but it doesn't feel like that by the beach. It's giving like maybe 80. I'm excited. The water looks gorge. I'm in a good mood. You can't be in a bad mood when you come to the beach. It's just, you can't be in a bad mood when you come to the beach. My favorite thing about coming to the beach during this time is that it's usually pretty chill. Like 10 a.m., 11 a.m., usually pretty chill. We're all set up. I'm gonna put some sunscreen on and chill. I just had a visitor and I didn't catch it. This dog definitely just came over to me. I love that. So we made it back from the beach. There were a lot of flies, a lot of just bugs, and the water kept crashing up against the shore much, much more than I'm used to seeing it. But overall, it was a good beach day. I wrote some, I chilled, I hung out, I tanned. I felt at peace. That's my favorite thing about the beach is peace. It always feels so peaceful at the beach or there's always a way to find peace at the beach. Even with people screaming, even with dudes being upset because they dropped a salad out of their hand. It was a chill day for me. I'm gonna head back home now and get some work done. I wanna work on my Disneyland vlog, which will probably be up by the time you're seeing this. So if you haven't seen the Disneyland vlog, go check that one out. I was just really having a craving for Wingstop Tenders and their ranch. Wingstop Ranch is so good. It's like a buttermilk ranch and it's just so yummy. So bag secured, Wingstop has been secured. I've been eating out a lot this week. I don't really know what's going on. I also got a McDonald's sweet tea and a McDonald's water because you need to stay hydrated. I need to stay hydrated. So it's like a water and the tea. Spent $1.85 at McDonald's and spent $12.85 on Wingstop. Now we're gonna go home and eat our Wingstop. I figured out why I've been spending so much money on eating out and it's because I've been stressed. And so when I get stressed, it turns into like stress shopping, but also stress eating. And I'm not really big on like retail therapy. So I'm usually like, uh, let's just buy food. But I've been stressed because I have a friend whose wedding is coming up. I think I might have talked about this before, but if I haven't talked about it, I have a friend whose wedding's coming up October 22nd, next month for me right now when I'm filming this, but October 22nd is her wedding. I still have to buy the plane ticket. I've been like procrastinating and waiting because this is gonna be a really expensive trip for me. I don't mean to sound like that. It's just that it's going to be an expensive trip for me. This trip's going to cost like about $700 for me just to go to this wedding. But I haven't seen these people in a long time. I haven't seen the girl who's getting married since college. I haven't seen her in so long. So I was like, I should go to this wedding. And there's going to be people that I know at the wedding. It's kind of like the sorority family is going to be at the wedding. And I'm like an honorary member of the sorority family. So I'm going to get to like see everyone um, and just kind of like 
go to a wedding for the first time because I've never been to a wedding, but I'm super stressed about the plane ticket because the plane ticket's going to be like $318 and then I have to get bags checked for both there and back and it's going to be $60 for checked bags. So the flight itself is going to be like $378 to $400 and then I'm going to have to Uber to the airport and Uber from the airport and a hotel, which I'm supposed to be staying with someone who I know we're going to split the hotel cost, but even that is still costly. And then whatever money I need for like spending or extras or, you know, just in case something comes up and I have to spend an extra night or, you know, anything. So it's going to be an expensive trip for me. And I've just been really stressed about it because I don't like to make like big purchases like that, especially when I don't know where the money's going to come from but the universe is trying to teach me to just like pull the trigger and to just trust that the money is going to come like if i have the money in my bank account right now to purchase the flight then i should purchase the flight is kind of what i'm getting at so i'm gonna eat my wing stop i'm gonna finish doing laundry i'm in the process of doing laundry too and then i'll probably just buy the plane tickets and say screw it another thing that's been stressing me about the wedding is me trying to figure out what i'm gonna wear so i texted her to see what it, like the th theme was and it's in Buffalo, New York, so it's going to be kind of cold in October, almost November. And the theme is like forest greens, oranges, brown. So I have this really cute idea. I'll insert some of the pictures for the inspo. I don't know if it's going to be what I actually end up wearing. That'll be a different vlog. We'll do the wedding vlog in a separate vlog because I'm going to this wedding. Like I've already committed to going to the wedding. I RSVP'd. I want to see these people. It's just really stressing me out to have to like spend $700 plus on a trip that's only going to be like a weekend it's only like a three-day trip so at least i'll get content out of it <sighs> it'll be like work and hopefully some play but that's another thing that's stressing me out is the the clothing but i looked up the kind of like idea that i had online and it looks like i can find all of the pieces i'm looking for for like an okay kind of price so we'll see i just want to look cute and i want to have a good time and i want to go to this wedding and i want to support her in her marriage and her love life i just would love to see these people and would love to go i just need to pull the trigger and buy the flight so we're gonna do that in this vlog you're gonna see me do that in this vlog i'm gonna set up the camera i'm gonna sit at the laptop and you're gonna see me order that ticket period Now we're going on a walk to walk off all of that wing stop. I'm really doing walks almost every single day. Usually it's during the day. Tonight it's tonight. We have about an hour until the sun goes down, so the walk will probably be shorter, but we're gonna walk off some of these calories. Here's the fit. We're back from the walk. It was a good walk, but like I said, the sun's coming down, so it was maybe like 35, 40 minutes. And there was so much dog watching. There were so many dogs out tonight. Of course, I didn't film it, cause like, you know, privacy, but I did get to see a bunch of dogs today. This is what I call trying to give you camera angles. I have the flight all brought up and we have our two check bags in. It's a total of $377.20. We're flying JetBlue, LAX to Buffalo, October 21st, 1115 p.m. and then we're coming back October 24th, 755 p.m. Here we go. And we're all set. Look, it's booked. Oh, and I just got the email notification too. We're going to Buffalo for this wedding. I'm actually really excited. Like, I'm actually really excited because, like I said, I haven't been to a wedding and this will be a good experience for me to just, like, go see old friends and have fun and kind of let loose and also vlog that experience for you, too. It's all content at the end of the day, but also, like, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a good time. Thanks for being with me. Thanks for helping me to pull the trigger. If it weren't for you, I would have pulled the trigger anyway, but I would have waited a couple more weeks and been even more stressed. So I'm glad that we're getting this out of the way now. Good morning vlog. It's Sunday, nine in the morning. We're on a walk this morning. 
I got my Disneyland vlog uploaded yesterday. Check that out if you haven't seen it. I got a bunch of pictures uploaded on my Instagram. And now we're just on a walk. I have been eating like shit lately. You guys have been seeing that, but last night I went to Walgreens and I got some Hershey's chocolate bars because I was just craving chocolate. And I also had In-N-Out for dinner yesterday. So today we're gonna go grocery shopping. I have some videos to film for today as well. I'm starting the October Zodiac readings, which are also up on the page. If you haven't seen your October reading, go check those out. But I'm gonna finish my walk, start those readings today, and then go grocery shopping. Uh, I think we're gonna go to Sprouts, but we're also probably gonna go to Trader Joe's because I can't not go to Trader Joe's. Good morning, it is the next day. I didn't end up going grocery shopping yesterday, but we're going to go grocery shopping now. It's about 8.30 in the morning, so we're avoiding all of the people. I've been having a lot of like social anxiety lately and just kind of not really feeling like going anywhere, doing anything, talking to anyone. I can feel this wave of depression like coming on, so we're trying to avoid the people as much as possible. But we're gonna go grocery shopping now. It's about 60 degrees, so I'm able to wear this sweatpants and all. This grocery shopping is going to be a long one. I have a feeling we need to go to Sprouts, Target, Trader Joe's, Walmart, and I do want to check out Ross to see if they have anything cute, anything fall, anything seasonal, or if I can find anything for the upcoming wedding. And then I have about 20 personal readings to do today, so it is going to be a busy, busy day. Let's go get some coffee. Hi, no thank you. Okay, what can I get for you today? Can I just do a pumpkin spice iced coffee with light ice? Medium or large? Let's do medium. Anything else? Nope, that'll be it. Okay, first window. Thank you. Uh, no, I just had the iced coffee. Okay. Uh, 316. Thank you. Thank you, sorry. Thank you, have a good day. Muffin? Nope, I just have the pumpkin iced coffee. I'm sorry, an iced coffee too? I just have the iced coffee. Just iced coffee? Uh-huh. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Iced coffee secured. Um, and my life lately has been this lyric from My Humps by the Black Eyed Peas. And the lyric goes, She got me spending spending all your money on me and spending time on me i'm her in this situation and not like megan the stallion her just her spending all this money um but let's taste this iced coffee because it's not really looking very pumpkin-y let's taste it yeah it's not really giving pumpkin I don't know what this is, but it's a nice coffee of some sort, so we're off to a good start today. I'll see you at Sprouts. Update on this iced coffee. It's trash, but you know, it's doing the job. We made it to Sprouts, and I need you to look at this parking lot because this is exactly why I came. Spots for days. All right, we're done shopping at Sprouts. I didn't really film much of it. I could have. I'm just like... I'm having a weird start to the day. We spent 46 48 at Sprouts. I'll give you some of the highlights. We have this chocolate ripple plant-based milk. I'm trying to eat better and trying to like put better things in my body. So that's why we went to Sprouts. They also had these Good Belly probiotics, two for five. This one's my favorite. It's like mango. Oh, so good. Also got some coconut water. These were also two for five. Sprouts does this thing where like they always have deals and the deals are always posted. So it's like, you gotta buy two for the five. You know what I'm saying? There's a bunch of people just kind of like out and about putting their groceries away and like getting into their cars and putting their carts away. And I'm just sitting here filming and showing you everything that I got. We love my job. Anyway, we got some red kale. That looks gorgeous on camera, hello. We got some red kale, this is my favorite kale. We got some grapeseed oil as well. Tofu. We got these plant-based crispy and fried chicken. 
They were only $3.99. They were marked down, so I was like, mm, let's try them. We got three limes. Yep, three limes for a dollar. And some baby carrots. There's one more bag. Hold on. Hold on. We got this peanut sesame Thai style noodle bowl from Annie Chun's. I love this one so much. We got a couple of tomatoes still on the vine. Uh, blueberries. Blueberries were two for five, so I, of course, had to snatch up some blueberries. Thank you. And last but not leastly, a 12 count of eggs, which I don't feel like pulling out. So now let's go to Trader Joe's and get some more stuff. We spent $38.71 at Trader Joe's. I had the best conversation with my cashier. Her name was Christine. We started talking about these impossible nuggets that I bought, and then we started talking about Hocus Pocus 2, which just came out when I'm filming this. If you haven't seen it, it's on Disney+. Plus. But let's dive into the Trader Joe's haul. First thing first, pumpkin ice cream. And it's massive. It's literally 32 ounces, but it was like $4.49 or something, and I'm obsessed with pumpkin, and... Everything's okay for you in moderation. I'm like yelling so that I like could prove to myself that it's okay that I got this ice cream because it is okay that I got the ice cream. But like I've been eating terribly lately. So the ice cream is like guilty pleasure moment, you know? We also got some jackfruit. I get this jackfruit every single time that I go to Trader Joe's. They had the uh, fruit sauces back in stock. So we got apple banana fruit sauce. I feel like they're definitely for children, but like, works for me. I got two peanut butters. This is the peanut butter no stir. I actually did film some of this experience in Trader Joe's, so you're welcome. We got this matcha green tea latte mix. I'm trying not to drink coffee as much, even though I did get coffee in this video. Spirit was like, you need to stop drinking so much coffee, so we're switching back to matcha. Bananas. Always gotta get the bananas. I love bananas for like my morning walks or when I'm not really hungry. Pineapple chunks, always, you know the vibes. These impossible nuggets, which always strike up a conversation whenever I go through the checkout. Everyone's obsessed with these. They're so good. They taste better than regular chicken nuggets. I don't know what else I have to tell you to sell you on them. Just try them, you'll be surprised. We got some organic kidney beans, also some black beans. We got strawberries as well. It took me a good two or three minutes trying to figure out which strawberries were the best because none of them looked good. So let's see if they taste okay. I could use something to eat today. Oh yeah, they taste good. They taste very fresh, period. We love that. Oh, and lastly from Trader Joe's, we have this Carolina Gold barbecue sauce. It is so good. It is so good. I put this shit on everything. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I put this on a lot though. I'm gonna use it for the Impossible Nuggets and also for the jackfruit. So now we're done with Trader Joe's, let's go to Target. People just keep watching me film myself, which honestly like, yeah, I would too. I'm realizing a little bit too late that I should have brought cooler bags and I definitely have cooler bags and I have like bags for shopping, like reusable bags as well, but I always forget to bring them. So hopefully the frozen stuff doesn't melt. Let's go to Target. So we made it to Target. Vlogging in public is just so awkward and so weird. I'm not here for many things, but the parking lot is filling up as you saw. I need to get some toothpaste and some rice and maybe some coconut water, but we'll see what else. So I'm not in the mood for buying like large bags of rice, so we're gonna go for these instant rices out of pure convenience and you can see it looks like everybody else is on the same wavelength because there's literally none here but i like these because there's different options so we'll get this long grain white rice we'll get the spanish style rice oh this one's 249 we'll try this one too all right target haul do you feel like you're on the shopping trip with me or are you bored like let me know what your vibes are let me know how you're feeling Target was easy, pretty in and out. 
I spent 3343 and it was pretty cool because the total came up to 3333 but then one bag at 10 cents made it 33.43 but that's what we spent at Target. First things first is bread. We got the multi-grain nature's own thick slice perfectly crafted. I also got these kind cranberry almond bars. There's six bars in here. I love these ones. We got grapes because we always get grapes. Grapes are a necessity when we go to Target. I always get my grapes and avocados from Target just because they're cheaper. So we got three avos from Target because they only charge 89 cents per avo. You saw the rice that we got. You saw the toothpaste. And then these toothbrushes, which are only 99 cents from Smartly. They're pretty soft. I like them. But yeah, that's the Target haul. Not much there. We only really needed rice. And they didn't have my coconut water that I always get. They were like doing a lot of restocking the shelves. So maybe it'll be coming back in in a couple days. But it's not that big of a deal. I have some coconut water. We'll be okay. I also tried to look at some of the fashion just to see like what was going on with fall fashion. I looked in the men's, I looked in the women's, I checked the clearance. Nothing was really giving, but I did find some pieces if I need to make them work for the wedding. Like if I can't find anything for the wedding up until like when I go to leave, then I know that I can go to Target and get some pieces that will work for the wedding. But Target fashion, not really giving this fall. I gotta be honest with you, not really giving. So Ross and Walmart are right next to each other, so we're gonna hit up these two stops and then head home. the oversized look to it. It's kind of giving streetwear and it's cozy and I don't have anything like this in my collection so I think it's gonna come home. I think we're gonna take this one home with me. All right so Walmart and Ross are done. At Walmart we got these Soylent creamy chocolate plant protein drinks. If you've been watching me you know that I always get these and we also got this cocoa butter formula from Palmer's. I needed body lotion so we got a body lotion and it had two dollars off saved now which was a whole event the walmart associate had to come over and help me in self-checkout we had to like peel off the coupon on the back and then we had to like fold it in half because it had the barcode on it for like the actual item as well and we kept scanning it so that was that i spent 17 dollars at walmart rounded up to donate to american red cross and then we went to Ross, and Ross was an experience. I had a lot of fun at Ross. At first I was struggling to find some things, but then I went into the fitting room and tried on some things that I found. We got this black tank top. I'm really into tank tops like this. Yeah, it's from like the women's section, but I love women's and men's clothes equally because I think that clothes are unisex. So you will see me shopping in the women's section just because I like women's clothing. And then we got the same kind of tank top, but this time in green. Very fall. I'm really into like army green and dark greens right now. And uh, I didn't find much for the wedding, but I did find some stuff I can at least take to Buffalo with me, like this incredibly soft and beautiful jacket. It's from Thread Supply and it was only $13.99. It says it retails at $25, but the quality of this and the way that it fits and the way that it looks, like it should be worth way more than $25. And I got it for $13.99. What a steal little tank tops as well this is kind of the vibe i'm trying to go for for the wedding i tried on another one but it was ugly and i didn't like it i like this but i don't love it i only spent 8.99 on it it's something i'll definitely get use out of i'll probably wear it on like tiktok youtube and stuff but i might wear it to the wedding it depends but i like this material i'm just worried about it being like strong enough warm enough for buffalo new york weather so there's definitely gonna have to be something like underneath of it and i'm not sure how i feel about like dressy shirts underneath of it and then the last piece that i got was this champion hoodie that's kind of giving barney with the green and the purple but i love it it's kind of giving streetwear you saw me try it on in the fitting room and i don't have anything like this in my collection it was 19.99 which 20 bucks for this is kind of overpriced but it's champion and i don't have anything like it in my 
closet, like I said, so I'm okay with it. I was willing to spend the 20 on it, and let's get the final price for everything from Ross as soon as I find the receipt. Also, I had to do self-checkout at Ross. Well, I mean, I didn't have to do self-checkout at Ross, but self-checkout was open at Ross, and I have never done self-checkout at Ross. You, like, take all the hangers off, you put them on the rack that they have sitting there for you, and then you take over all of the pieces that have the security tags over to somebody and they take all the security tags off for you. It was just a weird experience and I've never done that, but we spent $62.35 at Ross. Everything before tax was $56.95. So I got about five pieces for maybe $10, $11 each. That's not too bad. I really intended to spend uh, at least $200 on all of my trips today. So I will do the quick math and add that all up for you and put it on the screen so we can see how much I spent today. Now I'm going to go home, eat a little bit of something and work on my personal readings. This is the bag situation. We have bags down there. We have bags up here. We said haul today, honey. Listen, my plan is to like not leave my apartment for like a week or two weeks if I don't have to. This is getting me all set for my depression, my hibernation that I'm telling you I can feel is coming. Spirit's like, you're gonna have to slow down. The universe is like, it's time for you to slow down. You need to sleep, you need to rest, you need to recharge. And I'm like, okay, let me get ready for that. I'm actually excited to have a chance to really like chill out and sleep for like 24 hours at a time. But also I'm not looking forward to like the sadness, the depression, the darkness. That's why I'm trying to eat better. That's why I got foods that are like better for me, a lot of fruits. And I got some new clothes as well to help, you know, retail therapy. It does a little bit for us. It doesn't take away all the pain, but it helps a little bit. So let's go put these groceries away. So we finished putting all the groceries away and I did my personal readings too. I ended up having less personal readings to do, which was weird, but I'm not gonna let it get to me. There was just like, six or seven of them had gotten rejected and normally that only happens if it's been like seven days and i don't take that long to respond so i started to get in my head thinking that maybe they rejected it like the person went in and like canceled the order but what i really think happened is that the website that i work with has been struggling with paypal recently so i'm thinking there was just like a paypal issue and maybe all of the paypal requests ended up getting rejected and sent back just so that we wouldn't have to deal with any of the issues I don't know, I'm not taking it personally. I still had about 10 personal readings to do, so I got those done. I also filmed and posted a video on my Virgo channel, another Virgo channel, and then I filmed and posted three TikToks, filmed and posted three Instagram Reels, and now we're out on a walk. Yeah, I'm pretty done for today. I feel like I did enough. I feel like I did enough, so let's enjoy this walk. I've been trying to run for some of the walk now too because I used to love running and I do like to run and I do like to walk. The universe is like, you're going to have to exercise. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to exercise so I might as well find something that I like doing and I don't push myself too hard. But I've been trying to run lately and I just, I'm not doing as well as I feel like I could be doing. But most of the walk is just a peaceful walk where I listen to music. <laughs> 